Hi guys, it's Lily. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and Kinnison, um, and here on YouTube. And I have a second part to the Goodwill five-pound jewelry. Um, I split it into three. That's three seems to be the magic number for me because I'm just not very fast. So, uh, no FaceTime today or probably on the third one, just usually on the first one. Um, I just, you know, some days just don't want to put makeup on. That's just the way it is. So, uh, not that I wear much, but, you know. All right, so this first one is a, uh, well, I can't remember the name of it. I looked it up. It's it's an 1830. It says, Mary conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Um, and it has got that symbol on the back. It's just a silver tone. And forgive me, I am not Catholic. I do not know all of the saints and what they mean. But if you are, you do know. Um, this is, the chain is in excellent condition. The medallion, you know... I'm guessing people like rub them. I'm not sure, um, but it's in good condition. It, it shows a little bit of wear, um, but they all do. I seem to be getting a lot of uh, rosaries and I don't know if people are just, I don't know. I fear people are just losing faith uh, after all this pandemic and because um, I'm seeing a lot of this jewelry in my boxes and you know people don't normally get rid of this stuff so I don't know let me see this might be yeah no it's not marked okay anyway I'm blabbering probably without a cause but anyway so we have this one and it is the length on it is 20 inches the medallion is about an inch and a quarter. Hmm. Could it be an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter? Did I measure that wrong? No, well, it's about an inch and a quarter by an inch, maybe a half. Anyway, okay, $4 on that. And I have another one. I'm just going to go ahead and give it to you now. And I may pause you because I have a couple others in the next video. I think I'll go ahead and bring them out now. This is a really pretty one. A St. Christopher. Um, it's like painted on the inside. Almost a 3D St. Christopher protect us. And then it's got like I'm almost an acrylic over it so that it's flat. And then it's also got this on the back side this is just on one of those ball chains the ball chain does have a little bit of wear but it's probably cleanable and probably stainless still let's see mm -hmm. I don't know anyway the medallion is beautiful it really is and it is 18 inches and the medallion is about three quarters um, so, okay, $4 on that, too. Let me pause you for a second and get the other ones from the third haul. Hold on. Okay, make sure we're rolling. I did the, on my last video, I did a whole video, and I looked up, and I did, wasn't taping it at all. I was so mad, so I just went to bed last night. All right, this is um, St. Jude. That's um, just a medallion. You could put it on a bracelet or a pendant. On the back side, it says, pray for us. And Italy, I tested it. It's not silver, so I don't know what metal it is. Oh, but it's definitely not silver. And it doesn't mark up. So, I don't know. But you know these things are made to last. So, whatever metal it is. Um, so, I'm going to put um, $3 on that one. And this is a beautiful cross. 
I cleaned it because I wanted to see if it said anything. And it says something on, on it, but you know, I can't read it. It does have a little bit of um, wear on just the back side, just a little bit, but that front is just beautiful. Um, and it does say something right here on this little, um, what you call that, plaque, but I cannot read it. I do not think that it's gold because it has wear right here from the chain rubbing. I'm guessing people like do like me and just rub it, hold it and rub it across the chain just out of a habit. I know I do that. Anyway, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful cross. I'm going to put $4 on that. Just I hope that the world is not losing faith um, because we've been in such a pickle the last couple years. I pray that's not what's happening. Okay, this is a really cute piece. It, I'm guessing it used to be a watch in here because there is a place for the dial and all that. Um, glass faux pearls. I will tell you that this pin, little pin is missing here, but this is going into craft, so I mean, it's not a big deal. This clasp works. It needs a pin. You could do so many things with that as a craft project, um, but it's going into craft for a dollar. I don't know if you want to. Let me go ahead and give you the length in case someone wants to make something really pretty out of this because you could. If I had more time, I would be honest but okay say seven inches safely uh, with the clasp yeah I would not go more than seven all right so a dollar for that and this no name but I love it these are real pearls I can't really test uh, these the way that it's made but they're gold tone it is a um, you can pull it, it's adjustable, so I'm not gonna measure it because it can go as probably as big as anybody's wrist is, but this is a really pretty bracelet. It is, you know, done in that tie. I can't even remember the name of it. Jump, I don't know, the military tie knot, whatever it is, <laughs> that's funny. Anyway. Four dollars on that. Um, this is a really cute, dainty bracelet pearl. I believe they are real. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Two dollars. Some of they look real, but you know, they're not gritty. So stretch is good. And it's hot. I got my heater on down here for my feet. And we're going to get up into the mid to high 60s today. So six without stretch. Um, I would say you could go seven and still look good. So what did I put on there? Two dollars. Two dollar for that one. This is a beautiful mother of pearl disc necklace and I don't know you probably can't see it very well on this um, little thing that I made for my jewelry it is very pretty it is old but this clasp screw off clasp very nice mother of pearl necklace um, it is short it is 16 inches so if you need something longer, you will need to get an extender. I know they make them. I know you can get them on Amazon. Um, very nice. Um, I'm going to go, and it, it does need to be cleaned. Um, I'm going to go. This is beautiful. 
I'm going to go $7 on that one. This is also very beautiful. You know, I do not like this memory uh, wire stuff. But these are real pearls. The clasp is 925 sterling. I did test it. It's dirty. I will, I will clean it before I ship this. <coughs> Give you an idea. Look at there. Look how that's cleaning up. If you want, let me just. It is marked 925. So let's see. It looks, the scratch looks good. Let's, let's just see. And there it is, blue. Bam. See that? Look how pretty that is. I like it when they turn blue that fast because then I have more confidence in some of this stuff all right so like i said beautiful pearl necklace sterling silver clasp i will uh, clean that clasp up a little bit for you if you buy this this is just beautiful for a wedding for just church on sunday or just to be feminine it's just a very beautiful feminine piece And it is 16 inches. I just, I just love this. So I'm going to put, uh, because it's not marked, uh, it's not branded. I mean, it's marked with 925, but there's no maker's mark. Um, I'll put, I'll put $8 on that. That is such a beautiful very fragile piece. Okay. This is a nice gunmetal tubular choker style necklace. Now it is in excellent condition. The clasp is, the necklaces, everything is. And it's got like this, I call it a snake chain. I don't know what other people call it. You will probably never hear me say all of the correct terms, so you're going to have to do a visual in my videos. I may know the correct terms, but I may not be able to spit them out off the top of my head. So, all right, about 16 inches with a three inch extender. Very pretty, very good condition. This slides back and forth. Um, so I'm going to do $5 on that one. All right, this is going into craft, but um, I still wanted to show it to you. It is a double layer. I got it all tangled. It looks like uh, leather. It might be thread. What the heck? Did I really do this? I did. I had it untangled. Oh, goodness. Well, you know what? I'm not going to take the time to undo it on camera, but... It's a double, double layer, but it's, this is so pretty. It's not marked that I can see anyway, but there's the back. Um, it's missing one of these little stones. So it's going into craft for a dollar. And this another very pretty this is a starfish but it is also missing one little stone on the corner here the chain is beautiful 
um, because the chain is so nice um, and you could replace that one stone I'm still gonna go three dollars on this because the chain is beautiful beautiful condition nice silver tone and this is 15 inches and the star is about one and a quarter inches drop very pretty I keep holding it up close because I want you to see see what I see as far as the one stone that's missing it is this one right here um, it's really not that noticeable anyway there's that and here is a another piece I'm putting into craft it's a cute medallion acrylic silver tone it's just on a string and the string is good there's really there's nothing wrong with it um, I just have a preference I don't like selling stuff like this so I'm just gonna put that in craft for a dollar it is an excellent condition you know it's just my personality I guess not so much about making the money um, 16 inches with the two inch extender so that's going into craft because I don't like it <laughs> see and if it's your style well then then good because you get a good deal on it there is nothing wrong with it okay this clasp has a little bit of wear and so does this medallion um, but these are seed bead it's in decent condition um, but I'm still going to put that into craft for a dollar. This is a pretty necklace. This is silver tone, acrylic beads, smoky color, faceted. Um, very lightweight, but this is in really good condition. Excellent condition. You could double it. Make sure I get the right length. 36 inches. And a, yeah. About a four inch extender. A little over four. But very pretty. Very little wear, if any. So I'm going to do um, $4 on that one. This is going into craft, but I wanted to show you because it's got some neat pieces that can be used. This is a Lucky Brand. Cute little hand there, but this is going... Oh, and it's got a little Mickey on it. A Mickey uh, Disney so you know this was wait a minute maybe this is two pieces the heck give me a second why would a lucky brand have a Disney Yeah, no, this is two pieces. Just give me a second. Jeez, the Louises. No wonder it ended up in a good little box. It's all messed up. Oh, the bracelet has some wear, too. Oh, yeah, I can't get it off. You know what they were doing, right? So maybe the maybe the um, necklace isn't broken after all. Oh, let me do that in number three because it's going to take me a bit. All right, <clears throat> this is a nice silver stretch, kind of tubular. Um, the stretch is still good. It does have some color loss. 
um, but it's comfortable. It's a comfortable bracelet. I'm going to put $2 on this one. It is sitting at a 7. Um, here we have a seed bead, uh, braided seed bead. They are glass, black. It is a fixed size, and it's got a screw off. It looks like it's handmade, um, but they did a good job. There's no space. There's no, none of the wire is showing, nothing. Um, so this is seven and a half. Um, so $2 on that. This is a beautiful bracelet. These are glass, gunmetal, with like a spring type. Beautiful bracelet. I wish it probably has a maker. I don't see anything. It's sitting at seven and a half without stretch. So, I mean, it could fit, honestly, up to an eight or more. Because um, it's, you know, it, it's really big on me, and I'm a six. But it is beautiful. Look at that. It's different. So, and perfect condition. It's great. So, I'm going to put five on this beautiful bracelet. This is a nice necklace. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. It goes like this does have just a tiny bit of wear on this gold. Tiny. Clasp is good. Very nice. This is in good condition. And it's a decent size. It's 19 inches. Um, so let's do $4 on that one. Oh, and I love this one. We've got some faux pearls. We have some glass beads. It is probably handmade. It's got a nice clasp here. So gray and black and smoky colored glass beads. Really pretty. Very nice. Um, 18 inches with about a two and a half inch drop. Um, so I'm going to put $6 on this. This is a pretty necklace. Again, we have a nice necklace. But it is missing two stones. So I am going to put this in craft. It is not marked. The chain is nice. So, I mean, if you just want the chain and it is, this does slide. It will be in craft for a dollar. What are we at? Minute wise. 23 minutes. Okay. Ooh, I did good today. Alright, so this is solid black. It's a very long layered necklace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right here that they would put nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, yeah, nine strands. Great condition. Double clasp. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see from the camera. Um, this is not wear. These are uh, it's diamond on diamond cut on these big ones. Can you see that? Beautiful condition. This is a beautiful necklace. Keep it from getting tangled so much. 
Let me measure, measure the shortest one for you. The shortest is 22 inches. And the longest will hang down 33 inches, 34 inches. Yeah, 34 inches. All right, I just love this. Um, beautiful condition. So let's go $8 on this one. This one, I am not sure this stone. It is white. It's got some pink running through it. I don't know if you can see that. There's a smaller bead here that's got more on it. Um... Because I don't know what this is, I know it's some sort of stone or glass, I am going to hold this back for an Easter project that I'm hopefully going to make. But if you know what this is, and I'm being silly to chop it up and uh, attach it to other things, uh, let me know in the comments what this is. It's beautiful. It's white. It's cool to the touch. It's very shiny. Um, the beads aren't exactly round and they've got pink running through them. A little bit of pink. Some have more pink than others. I'd like to know what that is. I love it though. So I think I'm gonna use it for a project. And this has a stone missing. I don't think I found this stone. Um, so obviously I'm not going to sell it like this. It was a Charming Charlie's. Does anyone know how to pop these out safely? If you do, leave that in the comments. I would, I mean, I'll Google it, but, you know, just, I'd rather hear it from one of my subscribers who has experience on how to pop these stones out. Because I would love to use these stones. Um... But I don't know how to get them out safely without ruining the stone. Otherwise, this may end up in a craft lot at some point. But I want, would like to know how to get those out first. Alright, let me just try this one more time. I think we can keep this video under 30 minutes. I can't believe that this is so in there. Oh, well that came off. Oh, looky there. Can you believe I did it? Okay. This was a brass tone Mickey charm. Um, it does have all of the, they're broken though. These little lobster clasps that you put the charms on with. So all the charms are missing. Um, there are these two charms left does have wear, but it says Disney China with their trademark. Going into craft for a dollar. Now let's see if this lucky, whatever it was, is broken. Oh, it's not broken. At least I got this one out of the deal. Okay, so this is a lucky brand bracelet. I love it. I was so upset when I thought it was broken, but it wasn't broken. It was that stupid Disney bracelet. All right, so this is silver tone, brass tone. It looks like it's worn, but you know, Lucky Brand is meant to be that way. I don't know if you can see that. With the turquoise stones. Um, yeah, definitely like that. Probably too big for me. That's what it's gonna look like. Very nice. It does have a couple multiple sizes to hook it on to. So the first one is say a six and a quarter, six and three quarters, and seven and a quarter. So it can fit all of the above. And because it's Lucky Brand and it is pretty and unique, I'm gonna ask $5 for that. 
Okay, that's it for this one. I have one more with this box. And I have two or three other boxes sitting here to bring you to. But like I said, I'm going to try to space them out. We'll just depend on how my week goes. So if you see anything you like, please email me. The cost is $5 shipping for anything under a pound in the U.S. Anything over a pound is going to be based on where you live and how much it weighs. So if you see anything you like, um, just email. If there is multiple items, um, <clears throat> like five plus items, which, you know, usually there's not. I can sometimes do just a bundle deal. Um, just email me and we'll talk. But thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. And make sure you go back to my video on Valentine's Day, which was my collab with Chrissy with Windy City Resale on the inventory swap. Um, make sure you like and comment on that video and subscribe if you are not so you can enter the giveaway that's going to be I'm going to be announcing on Friday. I would love to see you there and good luck to everyone and I'll see you tomorrow. Lily out.